Neat. So we're here with Carter Smith today at his home and studio. Is it okay to say where you live? Yeah. Yeah. In the haunt. Oh, well, I was going to say here. It's a really beautiful <laughs> place. Yeah, here. <laughs> and um, Carter, you know, you and I have known each other for maybe like five or six years now, I want to say, mm -hmm. something like that. And I've been wearing your clothes since probably before I met you. And in fact, since the Dujeler connection started two years ago, I think since day one, I've been wearing your stuff and she yeah. sometimes, you know, borrows mine and we, so we wear it on the show. So a lot of our fans out there probably wondered, like, what are these beautiful things that the mm. Dujelers are wearing? So oh, now... It was, it was And it kind of goes away. So what we focus our attention on is what we get, and and the 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 ability to manifest. It's like I saw uh, a public television special on Peter Paul and Mary, and I saw what Mary was wearing, and I went, "Oh, it's it's pretty, it's nice, but it's not what I'm doing. Mary needs to wear my clothes." Is that how you met them? Because well, then you I contacted her. No, then I fo I focused friend, friends on. With yeah, them, I, right? I focused yeah. on Mary. I just uh -huh. thought about oh, okay. her, and I said, "I got to meet her. I got to meet her. I got to meet her." Mm -hmm. And three days later, in the mail, a postcard arrives, and inviting me to a birthday party, and Peter, Paul, and Mary are singing. And I had, so I flew to Cincinnati <laughs> right. to go to the birthday party, and that's, that's how I met Mary. But that's manifestation. Uh -huh. That's manifestation. Another thing I saw. I want to be on the. I want to meet you. And you are actually considered to be one of the finest shibori, what would you call yourself, like a shibori dyer or shibori artist in the shibori world? Shibori artist. Right? Shibori artist. <clears throat> and I'm probably the, I mean, it's sort of like I've been doing this, this is now 41 years. Wow. And it's always been um, an exploration of passion. It's always been exciting. It's always been discovering new things. And as you... There's a way too that their women oftentimes will be afraid of something that that is like they they want to wear what other women are wearing. They don't want to stand out. Mm -hmm. But it's like each person has has a creative center. Each person has a spiritual center, and those are two connected. They're really, in a sense, the same. So when you put something on that sets a vibration within you, you start to connect yourself, and other people recognize you on that level. So that it actually changes how you communicate with other people. And it changes how they recognize you and how you recognize yourself. And particularly for women, women tend to see themselves how other people see them. So therefore, it's the opportunity to put something on really beautiful. Then you can reflect that into yourself about how other people are seeing you. Uh -huh. So it's sort of like how we are recognized is how we recognize ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's not like... So it can be good for a woman's self-esteem. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. So it may be a place where a woman's self-esteem will 
will actually start because it, it gives her a better reflection. story about the K-dress that if, if a woman wears the K-dress then she'll meet the man she's going to well, I've had, meet there, her beloved. There are a lot of stories that get back to me about how women have, have worn the dress and have, mm -hmm. and have connected. Yeah, and it's, it's, to me it's sort of like, I don't know, if you're fishing and, and you have to fish in the right pond and use the right bait, so. <laughs> um, you can't just put the dress on at home and stay in all your life and meet the man. <laughs> oh yeah, the mailman or the, <laughs> it's the cable TV guy, cable guy. <laughs> or the plumber, yeah, just the guys you want to meet. <laughs> right, well, we were just talking about oh, that yeah. actually, about the yeah. plumber and mm -hmm. some of the, the fashions of today and that, you know, these days everybody can be a plumber or at least have plumber's crack because it's like the clothes, you know, <laughs> the that pants. you come up with now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so sexy. They're hanging down yeah. pretty low, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like when he's down, like under the sink. That has got to be sexy. Yeah, sexy. yeah. I mean, I'm not a woman, so I don't. Mm, I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's very, yeah. It's usually a big turn on for us. <laughs> <laughs> So, so in other words, all this that you're talking about, like going into yourself and finding your center, none of this would be possible without it. Absolutely no, no, impossible. That, <coughs> this comes from being willing to make mistakes. This mm. comes from playing. This comes from mm. having the energy to, to let go and, and, and experience something that is of not your thought process, but mm. it is connected to your creative process. So all of this comes through my dreams. Mm -hmm. Well, you said too, I remember you showed me like a little piece of paper that you had written down the pattern or what you might yeah. call for the K-dress, like you were in bed, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's when usually these things happen. These oh yeah, yeah. and you, so you. What, you, what I did was I kept a notebook by the side of the bed with mm -hmm. a pen, with a lamp, and I'd turn the lamp on and I'd, and I'd say, um, you know, I'd have this idea and I, in the middle of the night and I'd, and I'd do a little drawing and I'd write down the instruction. And then the next morning I'd get up and I'd make it, or I'd, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd start a piece of fabric, or I'd start five or six pieces of fabric uh, with all these instructions. And they'd get to a certain point and they'd all start moving in different directions. And um, the hardest thing was to get going, and then the next hardest thing was to stop. <laughs> so I worked from, cool. for a year I worked from six in the morning till two in the morning, and I did that every single day. Wow. 
And people like, the, oh, well, you were manic. And I go, well, then manic's <laughs> a great place to be. But, but you know, th that's a judgment on someone's creative force right. and power, you know, just taking over and, and it's like an explosion that happens. Mm -hmm. And you just get blown, you know, out of yourself, into yourself, mm -hmm. you know, into the universe, out of the universe. Yeah. <laughs>